What's up guys, you can look in the description to skip a part you don't want to see. And first of all, I want to introduce myself. I'm a Diamond 4 AD carry main, the highest elo I ever reached was the Diamond 3 promotion. And I make this video to give you some tips for one of my favorite AD carries named Vayne. Her pros are, she's a late game hyper carry, that means if she is able to farm a lot in the early game, in mid game or even get some kills, she will be able to carry a game solo. She has a strong snowball potential and is really mobile because of her abilities. Furthermore, she can easily reposition herself in team fights with her ult and tumble. Vayne is also really strong in 1 vs 1 fights that makes her able to split push easily. And finally, she is really strong against tanks in comparison to other AD carries. Her cons are simple, because of her short range, she has a weak early game in my opinion, because long range AD carries like Caitlyn or in general poke gems like Brand can be really painful for her. Moreover, she is really hard to master, if you become really good with her, you can be able to win an early game against a Caitlyn either, or a Brand, whatever. One secret pro of Vayne I forgot to mention is that many times you get pushed to the tower by an aggressive enemy bot lane, it gives your jungler the opportunity to camp your lane, many times the enemies forget to place enough wards, especially in the low elo. So all in all, I recommend you most times to play safe in the early game and stack as most farm as possible. If you're able to get a kill or your jungler is ganking your lane and you can free the two of them, that's an opportunity to, to fight the enemies. But most times I recommend you to play safe. And now I show you the item build. When the game starts, you have to decide whether you want to buy a Doran's Blade, one heal pot and a basic ward, or a Doran's Shield, two heal pots and a basic ward. I highly recommend you to buy Doran's Shield if you play against an aggressive bot lane like you can see in the gameplay, when I play against Caitlyn and Sona, because Doran's Shield gives you plus 80 health, and its passive is that it restores 6 health every 5 seconds, and moreover blocks 8 damage from single target attacks and spells from champions. If you have a safe laning phase and you can easily farm a lot, I really prefer you to go back when you can buy a BF sword. So you need 1300 gold to buy a BF sword. Believe me, if you are at your lane again, you will be much more stronger with a BF sword. And then when you go back next time, you can buy uh, shoes or rush your static shift and so on. And now my friends, we come to the core build. As I said before, you first of all rush BF sword, then you buy basic shoes and finish your shift. After that, you finish your boots and try to get your infinity edge and the phantom dancer. Yeah, that's the core build. And now my friends, it's hard to tell you what, it, what you actually have to buy. Most times I play with the core build itself or replace the infinity edge with the Lord Dominic's regards. In general, you always have to decide what you need in your game. If the enemies have a lot of magic damage like a Cassidin who can one shot you, I really prefer you to buy an Hex Drinker as third or as fourth item. If they have a lot of CCs, I recommend you to rush QSS as soon as possible. If you feel safe in team fights, you can buy a Bloodthirster or a Lord Dominix as fourth item after Infinity Edge, but if you want to make sure not to die in a team fight, I recommend you to buy God and Angel. Well, let's look at the runes and masteries, boys. But wait, I forgot to say that in the end of the video you can see an awesome vein clip by me. Well, I just picked the basic AD carry rune page I have. In the red marks you have plus 9.95 attack damage. In the yellow seals you have plus 1 armor, which is important for your laning phase against AD carries. And in the glyphs you have 5 with plus 1.34 magic resist and 4 with 1.60 magic resistance per level. Those are important to withstand damage from AP champs, like Brand or Velkos or whatever. Well, with the masteries it's not easy to decide which ones you should really pick. Either way, I would do 18-0-12. You take Fury, Fresh Blood, Natural Talon for more attack damage and Battle Trance. If you think you are the best ADC in the world, <laughs> you can take Bounty Hunter. But I think Bounty Hunter is better for early game ADCs like Caitlyn. Then you pick Battering Blows, what makes you pretty strong later. And now you have to decide what is better for you warlords or feather of the battle 
The stacks of Feather make you super strong in the late game, but Warlords gives you energized attacks, which can heal you a lot, especially if you have a lot of crit, and th with this build you actually have a lot of crit. The pros I spectate play way differently, including Masteries, but I prefer you to pick Warlords like Gozu does. And at the 12 resolve points, it's normal for Vayne to pick Recovery, though Skin, Veteran, Scars and Fearless. And now we look which skills we are maxing first. Always when I played Vayne with Blade of the Rune King, I maxed the W, but the Q synergizes really good with the crit build. And that's why we are maxing it. As second, we max the W, which makes us super strong in the late game. Well... I think more I don't really have to say about her abilities. Let's keep going. Lastly, I tell you what you exactly have to do in teamfights. The most important thing in my opinion is that you have to understand that you are no tank. You can't start teamfights because everyone will instantly focus you. So always try to stay behind your teammates as good as possible. And what is important too, that you don't have to focus a specific enemy. If Leona is attacking you, then poke her as much as you can, but don't engage on an enemy carry most times. You will die, I promise you. <laughs> Only if you think uh, you have a good opportunity to kill a carry, do it. Just be careful, you're squishy as fuck. Well, I think that's it with my tutorial. I hope you liked it, and don't forget to watch the clip I wanted to show you, because you can see a little bit of in action from me, and I think the clip is quite cool. It's a ranked game, Diamond 4, yeah, whatever. Peace out, my friends.